What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today we have iOS 17 release candidate on my iPhone 14 Pro right here. The update came at 6.35 gigabytes, and just to let you know if you're new to the iOS cycle, when we update from a beta to an RC or final release, it is always going to be bigger than the last beta. So just letting you know, it is not because there are like 50 hundred new features in here, it is just because this we're coming from a beta to an RC. If we take a look in settings and go down to general and then about, take a look at our build number here, you're gonna see it's 21A329. And it's just a build number, and, but if we were to take a look at what else Apple has released, we have a big list. iPad OS 17 RC, tvOS 17 RC, HomePod Software 17 RC, WatchOS 10 RC, macOS Sonoma RC, we'll talk more about that later, macOS Ventura 13.6 RC, iOS 16.7 RC, macOS Monterey 12.7 RC, and yeah, that's it. And we'll also talk a little more about iOS 15 at the end of this video. But now let me show you what is new inside of this update. If we were to take a look in general and then iPhone storage. Now the now for me, the update is 1.11 gigabytes, just something that you might want to track here. And it's going to be higher because of something in this update that I'll show you in a little bit. The first one is going to be the most exciting change in this in this release. So if we were to go down into settings and then scroll down to our sound and haptic section, the first thing that you're going to notice is that we have a brand new haptic section right here. So before it used to be down here, but now it is in here and it combines multiple settings that we had in here. So we have always play, play in silent mode, don't play in silent mode, and never play. But yeah, this is Apple has decided to combine this a little bit, probably to make room for the iPhone 15 mute switch. And just to let you know, on iPadOS, if we were to take a look right here, we have a brand new mute toggle here, whereas before we have not had a mute toggle here. It was only in the control center here. And just to let you know, this is not the most interesting change in, inside the sound settings. We actually got some brand new ringtones, if you believe it or not. That's right, brand new ringtones. So the reflection ringtone got updated. And then all of these ringtones are brand new here. I will leave a card right here so you can take a look at all the brand new ringtones. I'm not gonna play them all here because it takes nine minutes to play every single one of them, but yeah. And something else to mention, the iPads and the iPhone SEs got the reflection ringtone for the first time ever. So now you can play the reflection ringtone on any of your devices, not just your iPhone 10 and newer with Face ID. Along with that, we got a couple of brand new text message tones. So if we were to go into the text tone, no, it's still the default, but we got a couple of brand new ones here, and I guess why not? I'll play them here since they're short. Yeah, those are all the brand new text tones that we have here. Pretty nice. Now, no, it's still the default one here. Same with reflection, except reflection actually got updated. But I'm not sure how to feel about notes being the default one, since that could be a better one. And the note just sounds a lot different, like iOS 7 days. But a lot, all of them have been moved into the classic section. It is the same with the ringtones right here. For example, if you want your constellation ringtone. It is now in the classic section, but for now, I think my favorite one here is the chirp one. All right, the next thing I'd like to show you is inside the home app. So if I were to open up the home app right here, we got a brand new thing that says grid forecast right here. And along with that, we have a brand new energy section. So this is showing for your home accessories, how much energy they're using. So yeah, this was talked about in Wonderlust. And to be honest, I think Wonderlust was one of the more boring Apple events. But nonetheless, we actually got a brand new energy section. 
So it looks like clean energy is gonna come in at around midnight. So this is when to be using all the devices. And there's also, it also looks like 3.30, it looks like there's gonna be some brand new energy come in. And it just knows somehow that clean energy is gonna come at this time. Pretty interesting, but yeah, that's weird. Something I'm not really into, but I guess it's cool for some people if they wanna know about their energy. The next thing is in our settings app. So if I were to go down into the camera section, we actually got a rebrand in here. So down in the camera section, if we were to take a look at formats, you're gonna see something that says Pro Default. So this is for photo captures. So we got JPEG Max, Pro Raw, and Pro Raw Max. So yeah, Apple has decided to do a bit of rebranding. They call this Pro Raw Max now. Pretty cool, I guess. And also if we were to take a look at the camera app, and now it just says Raw Max up here. So if you want to take raw photos, you can just do that up there. And it just says raw max instead of just pro raw. I guess Apple just really wants to make this a lot more easier to understand. Since as an iPhone user, I don't understand what pro raw is. I don't see any difference in it, but yeah. Yeah, iOS 17 is a pretty big update now, especially since we got new ringtones. I bet this is going to be the most popular feature. And people are not going to miss radar anymore. They're going to do radical now. If we were to take a look at a release date for iOS 17, it is going to be here on the 18th. Now, macOS Sonoma, even though we got an RC, it is not going to be on the 18th here. I will explain a little bit more in my macOS video, but that release date is going to be on the 26th for some reason. Does anyone get that? It is a little bit confusing on why it's going to be on the 26th and not here on the 18th, especially since we have the RC, so Apple could just release it at any time. Now, is iOS 15 officially dead? Because we did not get an RC here for iOS 15, by the way, self-advertisement, if you would like to get pinged whenever there's a new iOS release, just join the Discord server down below. Now personally, I don't think iOS 15 is dead quite yet because just yesterday we got a new release for iOS 15.7.9. This was a public release, so that means that Apple probably does not have any security fixes to fix, but it's a little bit confusing on why we're getting iOS 16.7. Who knows, Apple could just add find more security flaws or just they only fix the major ones here and not the minor ones. And another theory that I could have is Apple's only testing iOS 16.7 because it's pretty a similar code base to iOS 15. So they're just going to release it. Or it could just be iOS 15 is dead. I doubt it to be honest because macOS Monterey got released somewhere here. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends and take a look at all the brand new videos coming on Monday related to iOS 17. Bye.